Welcome back, Shorians. I'm Peyton. And I'm Nate. Bringing you today's edition of the Shorian Report. Today is Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. Today is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Each year on December 7th, Pearl Harbor survivors, veterans, and visitors from all over the world come together to honor and remember the 2,403 service members and civilians who were killed on the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. A further 1,178 people were re-injured in the attack, which permanently sank two U.S. Navy battleships, the USS Arizona and the USS Utah, and destroyed 188 aircraft. Seniors, you have one week to get your headshots in the yearbook. You must have a senior portrait in before December 17th in order to be in the yearbook. Schedule your senior portraits with Stewart's today. Now let's say a happy birthday to those celebrating birthdays today. See what's for lunch and get a check on the weather. Good morning, Shorians. I'm Preston bringing you today's weather. Uh, right now it's, a, it's 21 and it's going to be a high of 30 degrees and a low of 19. So stay warm, Shorians. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome back to the, to the Shorian Sports Report. I'm Kaylee. Before you come to school on Wednesday, don't forget to let your parents know you want to stay after school to go to the Ski and Snowboard Club meeting at Kennedy in room 114. That's right, on Wednesday, any student can come to this meeting and information on skiing or snowboarding. This one meeting you don't want to miss. Today, the girls' basketball teams take on St. Clair High School, home with JV at 6 and Varsity at 7.30. On Wednesday, boys and girls bowling are at Eisenhower at 345, and the hockey team takes on Chippewa Valley at 7.30 away. On Thursday, the boys basketball teams are at home taking on Armada High School with freshmen at 4.30, JV at 6, and Varsity at 7.30. The girls basketball teams are at South Lake with JV at 5.30 and Varsity at 7. Good luck to our Shorian teams. With the holidays just around the corner, a helping hand or two is a blessing, and the big family in Michigan is ready to help all they can. You have two options. You go to either shop, or you can rent. Whatever you need Whatever you most. My name is Sharon McCogran, and I am the president of Big Family of Michigan. I started off as a volunteer wrapping presents, and I kept bugging the person who was in charge at the time that I wanted to do more, and eventually he had me here doing a lot more. You can find an abundance of dedicated volunteers here at Big Family, each willing to do what they can to help the organization, like Marie Clark. Well, I generally like to wrap gifts for the children because simply I would be very poor at picking out gifts. So somebody picks them out, puts them in a big bag, and we have all sorts of things, different sizes and shapes to wrap, and we have a list. Based on their wish list, we shop for them. What do you think? Just another pair of pants? No, enough. Okay, enough. Try to make sure they get things that they really want, not just things we throw in a bag. 
The care put into every picked out gift is what they're known for, their effort and want to give every child what they want. Each child will get seven wrapped presents and a stuffed animal. It's kind of funny because I'll get questions, well, you, this is a 17-year-old guy, why are you giving him a stuffed animal? That was Jeannie's thing. Every child got one, and we will continue that tradition, even for a 17, 18-year-old guy. Jeannie Fowler, a former foster child, was the founder of Big Family in Michigan, who began the program before she passed away in 2015. She would be proud today to see all the kind donations they have received. We survive on volunteers that come in, people that purchase things for us, and donations and our fundraisers. From gloves to coats, toys to toiletries, they have it all and are always in need of more for those 18 and younger. Post wants and needs on Facebook all the time. These amazing, devoted acts do not go unnoticed. Not only does Big Family thank you for your donations, but they are appreciated by the families helped by their good deeds. Thank you so much for helping me give my grandchildren a Christmas. I really appreciate it. If you would like to be at the heart of the holidays this season, come lend a hand at the Big Family of Michigan. Miss Lebecki needs pictures of yourself at work ASAP. Please send them to her via Schoology or email at cdombrow at shorian.org. On our last week before holiday break, we will be having a spirit week. Monday is pajama day, Tuesday is winter attire, Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day, Thursday is Holiday Colors, and Friday is Santa's Workshop or Characters Day. Embrace the kind spirit of Christmas this month. Here is the last chance to score a role in the school's one-act play festival, Drama Rama. The, a final audition is being held by the Drama Club after school Wednesday at 4 in room 115. The festival consists of two short one-act plays and an original performance of Shakespeare's Explained. Contact, contact Mr. Akerley at pakerly at shorian.org if you have any questions. That's all the news we have for you today, Shorians. Have a great rest of your day and stay safe.